Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Okay, everybody, let's take a look again on the gold market. Here is also we see some pause and upper reduction. It seems market preparing for a couple of events. And first of all, it's of course a weekend, so it will be a long weekend. And some traders decide to close positions, not hold them for the weekend because currently the situation is very tricky in the world and everything could happen uh, just in, in a very short term uh, period of time. Second, as inflation has become more or less uh, stable, although it was high, but that has triggered some pullback on the interest rates. So if you could see, here is, we see minor retracement on 10-year uh, yields, although from the technical point of view, this retracement should should get started even earlier because market stands were extended for a few weeks probably already, not only on a daily chart, but on monthly and on a weekly as well. And in such circumstances, it is surprising that retracement hasn't started uh, earlier. It's not starting right now. And second uh, moment is the same pullback on the dollar index that you could see. So in general, market is preparing to the weekend and uh, control uh, closing the positions. Was performance was really strong in recent uh, few days. Additionally, today we will get the uh, European Central Bank meeting. It has well, maybe not a strong impact on the gold, but still it could uh, make bring some uh, changing of the balance in the forex market, especially if the European Central Bank statement will be uh, hawkish as the market expected. So maybe it will not make the strong impact on the gold, but it could bring some volatility to the market. And that might be another reason why market is um, showing some pullback here. On the daily chart, we do not see big changes. In general, we have the bullish context. But as overall performance here stands not very fast, uh, we're still not sure that this definitely uh, becomes the upper continuation. Currently, it seems like it's a bit, uh, well, the pullback of this recent drop by far. And the chances that we still could get a kind of the ABC patient to the downside is exist, despite what we have the bullish trend in all time frames, I mean daily and high time frames. So um, most interesting what we have currently on the lower time frame, on the follow time frame chart, as market already stands above the OP target, it has been hit here and above the confidence uh, that has been broken recently. Next level that we are watching for is uh, agreement of the 2000, uh, even 2013 area where we have the XOP and major 618 level. That actually should become the major indicator to us is because if market will break it up, it means that we're going higher and taking out of this top, and it means that this is not a retracement. It means that we're just in a new swing of the long-term bullish trend, this continuation of this performance that it was before that. If market still turns down, it just will give us this passion that we're watching on a daily chart. Currently, uh, why we have doubts is just because of the performance here. So it is not as strong as uh, usually on the gold market. It's very gradual, choppy, and that makes us to have some doubt that this is really the continuation of the bullish trend, but not the pullback of this retracement. So we're not sure yet. That's why we could keep an eye on the next bullish target, but we're not ready yet to speak that this is definitely a new long-term trend, the continuation of the long-term trend. Correspondingly, on the hourly chart, uh, this is mostly the same patterns as we have discussed recently. By the way, guys, on the futures, there's more uh, clarity why market has shown a bit uh, higher action recently. So if we take a look at this ABCD pattern, you could see that the OP target stands slightly above the 127 of the butterfly. And that's why market has shown this just minor wash and rinse of these tops, completion the OP, and now it's turning down. So uh, for the bulls, we're just keep going with our training plan that we discussed since we have the target markets now showing some pullback before we can we're just could keep an eye on the possible support areas so the major of them stands around 1956 
So if you plot the other few levels from these lows to this top, you could see that it also will be the confluence. Um, and 1940, 1946, that is two levels that we intend to keep an eye on for a potential long entry. While if you have the bearish view or your scalp trader on intraday charts, you would like to take the short position and you do not have it based on this butterfly that we discussed already, you could keep an eye on different patterns that might be formed. Although I'm not sure that makes sense to take position before the weekend, but anyway, um, here we have the minor divergence on hourly chart and potentially it might be either small head and shoulders on the top. This market could show this pullback, this keep an eye on possible pullback to this area where the market will start forming the head and shoulders for a possible taking the short position, scalp short. That could lead market precisely to the 1956 if it will be kind of the A, B, C, top D pattern. Or even if retracement will be greater, it might be larger head and shoulders. With this passion, as you can see, this neckline around 1940. We will see what it will be. And also, it helps us a lot uh, to understand and what point to consider possible taking the long position. By far, uh, based on the overall performance and overall global situation, it seems that retracement should not be too significant. So, 1956 now seems like more probable uh, to get it. So, uh, that's approximately uh, things that we intend to keep now on the uh, gold market. As you can see, neither bullish nor bearish scenario is, is not ready yet for immediate trading. Bearish is just forming and the bullish setup mostly depends on whether it will be formed and whether retracement starts. That's why currently uh, maybe we will not get up the precise setup for trading uh, today directly. Also, guys, uh, since today, uh, since tomorrow will be um, a good Friday, it's week weekend starting Easter weekend, uh, we will see, maybe we will skip uh, the video uh, tomorrow, because anyway, in the weekend, with the weekly report, we prepare the same video for, for the Monday. Just do not repeat the same things twice. I think that uh, today, we t tomorrow, we could take the rest uh, on the gold market and um, preparing the video for the short, vi short term video, daily video for the gold in the weekend and put it as usual. Uh, dated on Monday by Monday. Maybe we'll replace the call analysis tomorrow by some Forex currency. Uh, if I will see something among uh, other currencies that we are not tracking every day, I mean, maybe it will be uh, Asian Pacific, maybe New Zealand dollar, Australian dollar, I will take a look. Maybe maybe Great British Pound. Um, if I will not uh, find something really interesting, just do not be surprised that tomorrow maybe we will not get any videos. Uh, just take a, take, take, take a rest, uh, spend the time with your family and enjoy the Easter.